Hello everyone, Inventor719 here, and in today's video, I am going to be showing you guys how to make this very cool little wooden gun made purely out of popsicle sticks, some glue, and rubber bands. So it's a very fun, easy to make project, and it's very fun to shoot. So here, I will be showing you guys a quick shooting test. I've got the bolt and ammo loaded in there, and so here we go, then I'll show you how to make it. Firing in three, two, one. Let's get this video started. For this project, you will need some common craft supplies. Biggest thing being the craft sticks or popsicle sticks. You're also going to need two elastics, uh, one paper clip, I have extras here, ruler, pencil, and tape are optional, and you'll need scissors, thumbtack, or a small nail, or a drill, something to make a little hole, and a hot glue gun with glue sticks. First, you're going to want to make the body part of the gun, as seen here. There are two sides, so what you do is get three popsicle sticks, put two together like that, apply hot glue to the face of this one, and put it upside down right in the middle and make two of those. Now that you have these two pieces for the body, simply set them aside and use one to measure for the handle where you'll be doing a very similar technique getting two pieces like this and eventually they will be positioned just like so. So what you want to do, angle them however you would like and doing the same thing Except this time, stagger them, as you see that, like there, and position this around there, leaving gaps to glue onto the body, and cut this popsicle stick around there to trim it up nicely. Now to assemble those two pieces, do so just like that by applying some hot glue gun just in there. As you can see, there we have the one side of the popsicle stick gun. Now, take another popsicle stick. This is going to be the bottom of your barrel and simply position it, not quite halfway or at the bottom, but right in between, leaving maybe a few millimeters on the bottom, just like so, and probably about an inch right here for your trigger. So there it is, that side of the gun completed. Now to flip it over, Two more pieces to add right there that can be seen on this one here. Um, first, this little piece cut about an inch long triangular end to hold the elastic and secured on hot glue sandwich with another piece just like that. So the last thing I forgot to mention was just to add a another piece of popsicle stick approximately three inches long uh, extending off the end to just extend the barrel. Now for probably the toughest part of this gun, we are going to be making the bolt and the trigger, uh, which is basically the mechanics of the gun. So first is the bolt. Now uh, up here I've drawn a diagram and traced it onto my popsicle stick. It's three inches long from here to here. And essentially you have to cut a diagonal across the top. And then right here, a little shark fin type shape with um, go in about a half way and then slope cut the rest just like that. Be very careful not to split the popsicle stick when doing this. And next for the trigger, done the same thing here. Take your popsicle stick, cut a little staircase in the top like that. Um, optional, do a little rounded edge as you can see adds a nice little effect. And then we're going to do that hole in a sec with your thumbtack or nail and basically if you can imagine what happens this pushes the trigger back slides on the slidey part here and here and then gets caught just like that in there until you release the trigger and it goes so cut those out now to finish off the bolt as seen up here we're going to attach the little cross beam at the top so you cut apart a popsicle stick into three pieces 
two smaller ones at the end and one longer piece in the middle. And essentially what you're going to do, take these pieces and hot glue them as close as you can to the top, right about there. Uh, as close as you can, one on that side, one on this side, so they'll be like this. And then take your last piece and hot glue it right in the middle to support it all. So in the end it should look something like this. Now we have the bolt completed which will eventually slide back and forth in there. So to attach the trigger, which you've already cut out, uh, basically position, position it in such a way where you can push the bolt back, it'll pivot and catch it and when you pull it forward it has enough room to go all the way down flat so this can be released but general rule of thumb right in the middle-ish where the lower part of your staircase lines up with the upper part of this and so how we are going to do this is get yourself a thumbtack and gently push it through the hole here without splitting it best way to do this is to wiggle it and then directly behind it oop, on the inside of here do the exact same thing wiggle it through to get a full hole and then we are going to connect it all with a segment of paper clip by extending it cutting it sewing it through both holes and bending it over and i'll show you what that looks like as you can see i've popped the hole through uh bent the paper clip on that side so this pivots freely now we're going to start assembling the other side so i have the other board we created in the one of the first steps i put a hole where it would line up so i'm going to put a bit of hot glue here and here and then put it through the hole and squish it down and we're going to finish the enclosure by putting the matching handle piece and all of the matching accessories that we did on this side on the adjacent side after we put this on and last step for the body is just to create a trigger stop by putting in half of a popsicle stick hot gluing it right in there at about 90 degrees with the trigger so it can't go any more forward than that now that your assembly of the body of the gun is complete last step is to add your two elastics First elastic will go on the back of the trigger up to the slot we created, as you see there. And the next elastic, put it just like that, so just under the bar of your bolt and ammo. Now to fire, simply put the bolt so that it is in behind the trigger like there. You can push down with your thumb a little bit if it helps. And then stretch the elastic under the barrel or barrel looking thing and it should sit if you create it correctly just like that and once you pull the trigger you'll be ready to fire. Again I'll give you guys a bonus shooting test and this is the one we just made so if you made it just like mine it should work exactly the same. So I just showed you how to load it so there it is all loaded up and let's get the shooting test in. Firing in three, two, one. Well, it is important to clean out all of the hot glue gun buildup in the barrel. So, now that I've cleaned that out with a little knife, um, by gliding it back and forth in there, let's try the shooting test again. Much better. This can probably fire, well, pretty good distance depending on your elastic. Um, I don't know, 10 meters or so. Nothing fancy, but definitely a fun project. You can experiment with different uh, um, ammo and stuff. But anyway, hope, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I thought it was a pretty fun build. A bit more complicated, but yet pretty easy and cheap. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe for the 100,000 giveaway. And I got some pretty good ideas for that. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Do me a favor and click that big red subscribe button right there. And also, check out some of my other videos by clicking the links on the screen.